Hello, we're Kim and Pedro from Egypt. We've, we're from the Hub Academy. We participated in RCG Rescue Simulation, second. I am Habiba Mohamed Mohsen. My previous experience, I have participated in International Online iPod Challenge, RoboCup Asia Pacific Japan, RoboCup Tianjin China, iPod Challenge Hergata Egypt, Cyprus North Africa Virtual Contest, Egyptian Olympian in Informatics. My previous experiences are RoboCup Junior Egypt 2017, Egyptian Olympiad in Informatics 2019, VEX IQ Next Level Challenge Egypt 2019, VEX IQ Squared Away Challenge Egypt 2020. Introduction on Coursebase. Coursebase is a rescue process if the robot represents the emergency car and the object of the injured so the robot has to save the injured. The blue zone represents a critical condition zone. The super objects are bonuses for, for completing certain tasks. The traps represent dangerous zones that should be avoided. Our challenge mission is to collect an RGB set, deposit them, then collect the super object. Mission subtasks perform big mapping, determine the destination, apply pathfinding algorithm, target the super object, target deposit. Task number one perform big mapping. We convert the map layout with dimensions 270 by 360 to a matrix with dimensions 27 by 36. So each square of dimensions 10 by 10 on the map layout represents one set of the matrix. The dot represents a valid set, the hashtag represents an invalid set, the I represents boundaries, D, D represents deposit, and S represents run plans. How is the how is the bitmap form? Locate necessary zones like traps, deposits, and obstacles and worms. The program loops on the map layout, testing each 10 by 10 square, as seen as seen in the following flowchart. Apply pathfinding algorithm. The, the algorithm receives the robot current position and destination. Apply the minimum number of steps needed to reach the destination from all valid cells. In our first implementation, we used to move in four adjacent cells, but we apply moving diagonally so it saves some steps. After drawing the shortest path to the destination and determine the XY coordinates of the adjacent cell, the robot is going to apply adaptive movement algorithm. A preview on pathfinding algorithm to reach deposit. Super object. The robot saves the super object's coordinates in a 2D array, then target the super object once it generated. And if it didn't collect the super object after a period of time, then it will use the 2D array when it's near to the super object. Target deposit. After collecting an RGB set, the robot targets the nearest deposit zone, as shown in the following flowchart. Implementation. When we receive the map, we add some cells which represent the object in each area, and the robot targets the nearest area which has the objects that it needs. Implementation. Destination priority. The highest priority is given to the super object, then to the deposit zone, and then choose cell according to secluded objects. In case the robot spent much time to trying to target a cell without reaching it, it ignores the cell and continues. Debugging. We use printf function to help us in the debugging process, as we use it to print the current position on the matrix and from the destination, check values of variables. In the beginning, it starts by collecting double RGB. It's searching for black and cyan in area 1. It's searching for red objects in area 2. It's searching for 
Sign on black object in area 3. It's going to area 5 to collect the lost black object. The robot is going to the nearest deposit. The robot has chosen the shortest path to the super object. The robot is searching for objects in area 3. The robot collected an RGB set, so it's heading to the deposit. The robot has chosen the shortest path to the super object. The robot is searching for objects in area 5. The robot collected an RGB set, so it's heading to the deposit. The robot has chosen the shortest path to the super option. It's heading area 3 for collecting objects. Then going to area 5 to collect the lost black object. It collected an RGB set, so it's going to the deposit. Going to the super object. It's targeting area 4. Then area 5 to collect black and sign objects. It is searching in area 5 for objects. It's targeting deposit zone. Then choosing a path to the super object. It is searching in area 1 for black and sign objects. And now targeting area 2 to collect one red object. Going to the deposit. Choosing a path to the super object. It is searching in area 1 for black and sign objects. It is targeting deposit zone. Targeting the super object. Then searching in area 5 for objects. It's heading area 7. It's going to the deposit, targeting the super object. And now heading deposit as less than 30 seconds left. Applying knowledge gain to real world. Rescue robots can help in worries by receiving the data of wounded soldiers. For example, their state, whether they are okay, need help, or their state is critical, which can be represented in numbers, their position to let the robot determine the nearest injured position of the dangerous area. So, the robot is going to have a database that allows to apply algorithm to determine its path intelligently. For example, draw, the, draw a diagram for the place adding weights to areas according to the state of the injured, determine areas that the robot can go through while carrying the injured, and draw the nearest area which have more weight and terrain. Learning experience. We've learned how to use C file and convert it to a DLL file, how to convert a map to a matrix using functions that receive parameters. Teamwork can split difficult tasks into, disc into a simpler one, then we work together to complete them faster, develop specialized skills so that the best person for each task can do it better and faster.